Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at adding pages to your Shopify store and editing pages to suit your liking. So from your Shopify admin, head on over to online store in the left hand navigation. And then from there, click on the pages tab. Next, simply click on the add page button down at the bottom or at the upper top right hand corner. The first thing you're going to do is add a title for your page. So let's say we want to create a page that's announcing an upcoming sale. So once you've written your title here, you can go ahead into the content box and this is where you will be adding things like text, links, images, and so on. So now that I've added this very little bit of text, I'll show you how to update um, and customize some of this text. So just like you would a Word document, let's say we wanted to bold something, just highlight it and from there, click on the bold. You can also do things like, you know, italicize the text as well, which again, just like a Word document, you can use your command or control I key. So you can also add links to the text. So for example, if you wanted to link social media, you would highlight it and then click on the hyperlink icon here and then add your link. So I'm just going to use Google as an example. Open this link in. So this dropdown currently is set so that when they click on a link, it'll just open in the same page. But in most cases, if anyone's ever going to leave your website, you want it to open up in a new window so that it's easy enough for them just to go back to the other tab and still engage with your website. And then I'm just going to click on insert link. So at the moment, I can't actually preview the page and I would like to do that. So in order to preview, hit save and then Shopify will give you the option to preview it. So now I just hit save um, and the page is live, which is fine with me. Uh, but if you wanted to hide it, you could select the hidden option here, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it as visible. So now if we want to view the page, simply click, obviously, the view page button. And then this way we can kind of see what it's starting to look like. Obviously, incredibly boring page. We would definitely want to add more to it. And another thing that you can do is every theme has a different set of page templates. So this is a free theme. It's incredibly limited. And right now we only have a page and a page contact. So if I change the template suffix to page.contact and then I save, it's going to look like a contact page. And because this is just an announcement page that we're going to highlight a few sales, we really don't need the contact form. So I'm going to go back and change that back to page. Now, if you have a premium template that you've paid for, likely you will have more options than that. You'll have things like a wide layout and other different options that you can play with. So I'm just going to leave it on page and save it again. So the next thing that we're going to do is add an image to the page. So click on the area that you want to add the image. I simply hit enter a couple of times and then click on the insert image button. From there, you can use an image that you've already uploaded. You can upload a new image. You can also grab an image from an existing product that you have, or you can throw in a URL of an image that's already sitting on a website somewhere. So in this case, I already have uploaded the image that I want. So I'll go ahead and click on it. I can then add image alt text and alt text is great in that it makes your website more accessible and it also increases your SEO. Search engines will be able to crawl your website and grab these little bits of text that you've added to your images. You can then select the size of the image. So the original image is quite large, so I'm actually gonna make it a bit smaller here. 
Let's go with the 600 by 600 and then insert image. If you'd like to see what that looks like, hit the save button and click on view page. So this is what our page is looking like so far. Now, to be honest, I'd rather this be a bit wider or at least centered. So I'm gonna go back, click on the image, and then we can play with the alignment. So just like text, we can have left align, center align, and right align. I'm gonna go ahead and click on center. Then we can hit save again. And at least that way it's in the middle. You can also add things like videos to your page. Uh, so I'm gonna add a title here for the video. And right now the format of the text is simply the kind of default paragraph text, but I want this to be a header. So I'm gonna head up here to the formatting and select one of the different headings. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and add a video. I'm going to add a YouTube video to this page. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need the embed code from the YouTube video. So to embed a YouTube video, we're gonna grab the YouTube embed code from the video. And I'm just gonna use this one as an example. Of course, it has nothing to do with a Black Friday sale. It's just for example purposes. So once you get to the uh, YouTube video that you want to embed, click on the share button. And then from there, click on the embed button. It's going to pump out a bit of code that you're gonna to need to copy and paste into your page. You do have the option to start at a certain point in the video, which we won't do in this case, but um, go ahead and click on the copy button. And then you can close this and head back to your Shopify page. And for this part, we can't just paste it into the page. I'll show you what happens if we do do that. But basically you're copying and pasting code into a formatted page and it's not gonna work. It's just gonna show you this text. So if we hit save and then go and view the page, you'll see that the code is purely just text. And of course that is not at all what we want on our page. So I'll head back and I'll remove this but from here, I'm gonna click on the show HTML button. This will show you the code. Now it's not gonna look all that pretty once you're back there, but this is where you're gonna to want to put your embed code for the video. And this is where you're gonna to wanna to add the embed code for your video. So click at the very end of the current code and hit the enter key, then paste the code and you can then go back to show editor, which will take you back to the formatted view. And if you scroll down, you'll see the embedded YouTube video. So we can hit save and then view the page again. And now we've got an embedded video. There's definitely too much uh, space here. So just go ahead and delete that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play around with a little more text. If you wanted to add a bulleted list, simply click there and then you can add your different items. You can also add numbered lists. Another thing that you can do is add a table. So let's say you had a page and you had maybe like a price list or something that you'd like to add. You can do that using a table. So head on up to the insert table button and click on, funny enough, insert table. Now with most tables, you're obviously not just gonna wanna have one row and one column, right? So go back up to the insert table button and from here you can add columns and rows. So let's go ahead and create our pretend price list. Now to create that next line, I just hit the tab button. And this table just simply has text in it right now. 
So let's hit enter after the table just to space it out a little bit. And we haven't had a look at our page in a little while. So I'm going to hit save and then go and refresh the page. Now this page is going to look messy, of course, but it's really just an example as to all of the different options that you have when creating a Shopify page. So again, we've got text up at the top that we've, you know, we've made certain parts of it bold, italic. There's a link here, which is that Google link that we created before. We've got bulleted lists, numbered lists, a table filled with text at the moment, along with an image and an embedded YouTube video. So I'm also going to show you how to create a table that builds different columns with different content. So for example, right now, we are just building a page that each little bit of content is on top of each other, which, you know, is okay, but there are going to be times when you might want to have, you know, an image on the left, a little paragraph on the right and so on. So let's say instead of having just one giant image, we'd like to have an image on the left with a paragraph on the right. Click anywhere within the page, basically where you want to add this bit of content and again, hit insert table and then put insert column so that we have the two sides. And from here, we're going to add an image on this left hand side. So go ahead on back up to insert image. And again, you can either use an existing image, a product image, image that already sits somewhere on the web or upload a new image. I'm just going to reuse this image here and hit insert image. And now the image is within the table and it's definitely going to be a bit too big, but that's okay. We can make it smaller by resizing it. Because this is just an example, I'm going to highlight this text and copy it using command or control C. And then I'm going to paste it into this side of the table. So using a table, we can have the image on one side and the text on the other. I'm going to click here and add a space just to kind of space all of this stuff out. And now again, if we hit save and check out the page, you'll see that it's separated into two columns of content versus just the one. Now, of course, this doesn't look great. Uh, there's tons of space here. We've got a border, but there are a few things that we can do inside the Shopify admin to eliminate some of these issues. So if we head on back to the page, we can drag the column so that it makes it a bit smaller. And you'll see that that does help a bit. We can also get rid of this border. So right now there actually isn't a setting to change the border. So we're going to have to go into the code view to make that change. So if you click on the show HTML button again, it'll switch it over to the code view. And if we head on down, this is the table that we want to edit. So this basically says that there's a table that has an image in the left hand column and then that text in the right hand column. And to get rid of the border, we can enter the following text. So that only removed it from the left hand column. We'll go ahead and apply it to the right hand as well. So we added this bit right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and I'm going to find the other TD tag, which is down here and add it in the same place. So you're basically saying that the border should be zero pixels wide which essentially means there shouldn't be a border there at all. So there you have it, a very messy Shopify page now, but at least you've kind of learned a few different things that you can add to a Shopify page, including an embedded video, image, a few tables, lists, and simple text.